guys, welcome back to Waze YouTube channel. I am Gabrielle Rojas. Uh, some of you may know me as Wannabe Parisian. I am a digital content creator. I create videos for YouTube and I have my own blog all surrounded by the Parisian lifestyle, fashion, and beauty. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I style my French inspired bob look using the new dry shampoo from Way. They have partnered with Byredo, that is a fragrance dry shampoo using the Mojave Ghost fragrance. Today I'm going to be using two styling tools and one product. For my styling tools, I'm going to be using a one inch hot tools curling iron and this has the barrel. I recommend using a curling iron with this barrel because I will be using that um, to curl my hair with short hair you need the barrel. I'm also going to be using a straightener. If you have naturally straight hair, you don't really need the straightener, but I use it to tame. You'll see. You'll see later. Then the star of the show, Way has partnered with Byredo, which is a fragrance company, and they have created this dry shampoo. The fragrance is Mojave Ghost. If you are familiar with Byredo, they have a perfume called Mojave Ghost. I've been wearing this for the past three days now. It's a woody composition, it's very light. I like it because it doesn't overpower the smell of like my perfume because with my lotion, my perfume, my skincare stuff, the hair stuff, there's a lot of scents going on. But it's really nice that this just makes my hair smell good. It doesn't add more fragrance where there shouldn't be, if that makes sense. <laughs> this is a super absorbent. What I like about this dry shampoo is that it's super absorbent. If you guys can't see, I have really oily bangs. I washed my hair yesterday. There's no product on my hair right now. I haven't really gone outside and my bangs are already super oily. But this dry shampoo is really absorbent. I love it. It's made from volcanic materials and rice starch, so it soaks up the oils very well. I've used many dry shampoos and this one is one of my favorites. So to apply it, I just shake the bottle and I like applying it before I style my hair because this dry shampoo also adds body volume texture, which is really nice. I just apply it where needed. About a can away, you wanna go, so like right here, so lightly. And then I take my fingers and really mix it in. Take my bangs and move it back. We're just adding volume up here. I'm also going to work today. I work at a grocery store, Trader Joe's. So dry shampoo is literally my best friend. You already see such a huge difference with the bangs. Most dry shampoos leave that white residue or um, the colored residue of the dry shampoo with your blonde, brunette, redhead. It leaves that residue. This one, not at all. I can just move my fingers through it. It moves very well. And then again, just right here. And I love this because a little goes a long way. Like I said, I've been wearing this for four days now and I really test a dry shampoo. If it makes it through an eight hour shift, it's a good one. This has made it through an eight hour shift. <laughs> and with bangs, they're still a little bit oily. So I actually like to pull my bangs up and then I gotta see what I'm doing. Just lightly spray and then I let the hairs fall. So it's like getting the different layers of the bangs. Work that in. Already such a huge difference. You know what, that middle part right there. Oh. What's great about this dry shampoo too is it's great for all different hair types. You have color treated hair, keratin treatments, um, chemical treated hair. If you do Brazilian blowouts, it's great for all hair types. So now onto the actual curling part of my hair. I divide my hair into three sections essentially, but first we're gonna start with the bottom layer. Since my hair is super short, um, I really only curl like that part. We're gonna take my curling iron and I hold it horizontally and then let it go. I like to brush it out so it's not, you know, 50s housewife look. Oh, my earring. <laughs> and then this is the trick. So the first curl I did horizontally. The second one I actually do vertical. 
and this is what gives you that different textured look because it gives you two different things like two different looks i really like this way because it doesn't blend all the curls together so like throughout the day you get like this wavy look that way it's just all its own piece and it stays in its place so the curls don't come together that's that's what we were looking for so again horizontally i like doing the front pieces horizontally um because i like it to frame my face kind of like this you can see that curl it kind of just comes at the face as i was saying so when you hold the curl vertically i take it wrap it around and i hold it for three or four seconds because i have really short hair and then I, when I let go, I twist the barrel. So as it's cooling and I'm releasing the curl, it flows in that direction. And then the bottom layers, all right here, like the little tiny hairs that they're so tiny. Um, this is dangerous, you could burn your neck. Uh, I take the curling iron and I just curl the ends in so they're not sticking out. We don't really need to worry. That's what's so great about having short hair is you really don't need to worry about like the bottom layers, <laughs> just like the middle and the top. That's all you have to worry about. And then I always, before moving on to the next layer, I break everything in my bathroom. I take my mirror and I check to make sure all the pieces are curled. This section right here, we didn't get a nice curl. And this one, I actually just gonna do vertical because it's easier for me. This piece, so I like to play around with it. I don't like the curls to really be together. So they go in different layers. We're kind of just creating fake layers. I don't have layers in my hair, but this curling technique gives you the illusion that you do. Moving on to the next layer. Depending how thick your hair is, you might only need two layers or just three um, but my hair is pretty thick even though it's short it's really thick up here so I like to get every curling area this is how much I take off for the next it's not a lot but with the short hair and this curling technique you have to do the smaller layers so this is when I get my straightener out since I fell asleep with wet hair we got some bumps and kinks going on <laughs> So I'm just gonna take my straightener and straighten the top part just to flatten it out a bit. We're not gonna do our bangs until the end. I like to wait until the end for our bangs. And then again, same technique. It's, it's a little bit different as the layers go on. My curling technique gets a little bit different. <laughs> um, every layer is not, they're all different. But essentially the first piece is horizontal again, but it curls a little bit differently since there's more hair. And then we're gonna take this piece right here, do the vertical. And then since it's like at a higher point of my head, I'm not gonna do the horizontal thing again, but instead I'm gonna curl vertical but the opposite direction. So you just flip your barrel and you curl the opposite direction and then I like to play with it and then again the opposite direction. You can probably hear my dogs barking outside. <laughs> Mojave Ghost is also inspired by the Mojave Desert, the fragrance, and I live in Utah. I live in a desert. It's really hot. It's like 100 degrees today. For the next five days, it's 100 degrees. So, it's dry shampoo. It'll be great for these 100 degree weathers. <laughs> and as it gets to the top layer, I kind of like to play around. I'll go back in, recurl any pieces I need to. Um, just mess around with it. I like it to be very messy. I want this to look natural, even though it's like far from natural, like this took a while. Okay, that's pretty good on the layers. And the next layer, I usually just part my hair down the middle, kind of in a messy 
away. And then I'm gonna take my straightener, again, just for that top part right there. This is where it gets a little bit different. So instead of doing this front piece, I kind of play around with it. Um, if you curl your hair a lot, you know, sometimes the one side of your head looks better than the other side. So what I like to do is actually just do it vertical because the top layer looks better when it's all vertical. Um, it's, it's just how it is. And then I do this way in the other direction. For some reason, this side of my hair always looks better than this side. <laughs> and that is the curled look and then how i wear my hair is i usually just tuck it behind my ears and i have these little guys just kind of poking out then with the straightener i'm just going to go ahead and straighten my bangs i don't straighten them like down that used to be my look back in 2008 but now I kind of straighten them and then I twist at the ends just on the framing pieces down twist there we go so it kind of gives the framed look and then I do it here as well down a little twist for the middle part I just kind of do a little twist and then they like to they go where they please. And that is pretty good. On camera, they look really shiny, um, but they're not. But since it's really hot where I live, again, I live in a desert, like Mojave Desert. <laughs> this smells so good, I'm obsessed. And I like my curls to be a little bit messy. So whatever I have left over on my hands, go around my hair, et voila. <laughs> so overall, like what I think is, I 100% approve, I love it. it. Smells amazing as well. Makes me wanna buy the fragrance Mojave Ghost, which might, might be an essential now. Thank you for tuning in to Wei's YouTube channel and watching how I style my little short bob. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much. We will see you guys next time. Bye.